Hello, international friendlies. It's the international break during the Easter period. England play Germany. But there's nothing at stake, so if we lose, we lose. If we draw, we draw. If we win, we win. There's nothing up for grabs. Then we play Holland, and it's the same situation. Really, all it's about, Roy Hodgson picking his 22 best players for the tournament in France, and that's that. Other big international friendlies, if you can call them that, is Italy v Spain, and then Italy play Germany. There's also Liechtenstein v Gibraltar today, and that's that. Really, it should be about promotion and relegation during this period. The only things I can see happening is Colchester and Crewe. They could be down after this period. I think Dagenham and Redbridge and York City also in deep, deep trouble. That's about it. Can't see any promotion being sorted. And that's that. That was a quick video. As for the fear, as they're reporting, the fear of terrorist attacks at Euro 2016, don't worry about it. Security will be tight. It will be solid. And that also means football hooligans will be treated like terrorists. So my advice, if any of you hooligans around Europe are thinking of causing trouble at this tournament, Stay at home. Do not go to this tournament and cause any football hooliganism. You will be dealt with like a terrorist. And you know how many years you will be locked away for. I hope they came out right. So I can see Euro 2016, a new format. Some of it is confusing as hell, but it will be a magnificent tournament. Will England win it? I don't think so. As long as we can have a good run in the tournament, I'll be happy. Now, I've got three teams to support in this tournament, and hopefully it won't be all three out in the first group stages. Then, then it's the... Well, it should be the last 16, but the third place teams go into a group stage. And then it goes to the last 16, so England, Switzerland and the Republic of Ireland could be playing in a second group stage. <laughs> I told you the tournament's confusing. If you didn't get what I said about the tournament, just check it online at uefa.com or at Wikipedia. <laughs> this tournament, once the group stages are finished, then it goes to another group stage. It gets pretty confusing. Did the tournament need... This new format, well, in one way, no, it didn't. But if it didn't, the Republic of Ireland wouldn't have qualified. So I suppose I can't complain. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video there. For Germany v England, leave your comments below what you think the score is going to be. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. It's going to be a draw. Let's face it, if we lose to Germany, it doesn't matter. If we beat Germany, it doesn't matter. It's only a friendly. It doesn't even matter if I watch it, does it? It doesn't mean nothing. I say, hopefully, England will get no injuries going into the tournament so we can have at least a decent enough chance of doing the best we can in this tournament. I know England haven't got the best team in the world, or the best team in that tournament. There are better teams than England. And I would honestly say, the finish of England and Wales, it's going to be a very good, it's going to be a magnificent match, because I'll tell you now, Wales, it's going to be a hard game. It's no longer going to be <laughs> Wales. It's going to be a battle. And Wales can beat us. Just remember that. They've got some fantastic players, some hard-working players. This is one of the best Wales team, or Welsh teams, 
since the 80s when he had Ian Rush, Neville Southall, Kevin Ratcliffe. Yeah, that type of Wells team. And they are probably even better. Could Wales actually win the tournament? Don't know. You know, is it going to be a shock win? A team you didn't expect to win it? I suppose England are in that bracket. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. And if Wales do win the tournament, I will give them a round of applause and say, well done, Wales. But you do have a chance of winning this tournament. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Leave those comments and score predictions below. I'll say good afternoon to you. Thank you very much.